almost here. Birds are singing, flowers are booming. Ah, Um. Other than that part, I don't miss. I miss everything about spring, and I think spring is nature's way to invite us to go shopping. Raise your hand if anybody disagree with me. Oops, I didn't see anybody. So before you go, I do want to go over with you the most classy staple spring items that you will keep using year after year. Let's start with a classic trench coat. You need a trench coat for the spring, and trench coat is one of the most investment-worthy pieces for your spring wardrobe. And why? Because the design has never changed. Twenty years ago, trench coat looked the same, and twenty years later, they probably are still gonna be the same. So that means you're gonna be getting so much use out of your trench coat. Invest in a high-quality one. Trench coats are made for layering. It can become a little tricky. Wear trench coat over midi skirt. I see this on a lot of people, including models, famous bloggers. But it's not flattering. Your body is divided by so many different horizontal lines. It's not flattering on women of any height, and it's especially. Tricky if you are petite like me, because you need vertical lines. Get rid of those unnecessary horizontal lines. So what you should do is to wear a shorter skirt. This is a very easy spring outfit. A short sleeve sweater, denim skirt. The skirt is above my knee because of the skirt length. That makes it very easy to wear with a trench coat. Now you see, this is a much cleaner look without all that. Fabric sticking out under your coat. Of course, trench coat also goes with any pant outfit. Here's a very simple spring work appropriate outfit. Top is white merino wool sweater from Banana Republic, and the pants are from Ann Taylor ankle pants. Shoes are from Nine West Croc embossed. Very simple and easy outfit. When you top it over with a trench coat, it's a very classy combination that will take you from office to dinners to anywhere, basically. Or of course, you can also wear your trench coat over any denim, and this is going to give you a very casual but chic outfit for the spring. If you like this video so far, give me thumbs up. If you don't like it, give me thumbs down. I will be sad, but I would like to know that too. If you're new here, hit the subscribe button. I would love to have you come back. The light wash denim. These are my favorite for this time of the year. I am wearing denim jogging from Madewell. Jeggings are one of my favorite types of leggings because you have the combination, the skinny jeans and the comfort of the leggings. That's what make them so comfortable and also so functional for this time of the year. Don't get me wrong, you can of course still wear your dark wash jeans or black denim, but this time of the year, I love lighter color because they can transition your winter tops. I also love to wear light denim with chambray shirt. My chambray shirt is petite size from J Crew. Denim is from Seven. I love the flare leg shape. That is another great way to elongate your legs. Very important if you happen to have short legs like myself. This is a very casual combination. What I love the most about it is because it's a monochrome look. That is so elongating. This is critical if you are petite like me because it's gonna make your frame look elongated and make your legs look super long. I do have a whole other video on how you can look taller and leaner. Make sure you check out this video as well. And of course, you can wear a light color denim with a contrasting shirt. Because of the length, my favorite way to wear it is to tuck it in because it's a tunic shirt. It got some volume. When you tuck it in, that's gonna control the volume. It's also gonna elongate your legs because the jacket is high waisted. You don't like to tuck in your shirt because you have midsection concern or because you're sitting down all day. It's just not that comfortable. I totally hear you. It's you don't tuck it in. This is really easy, but you need to do something else to counterbalance that length and that volume from the top. Instead of going with a booties, I am switching it to nude heels, and this is going to elongate your legs. Another great hack 
is to adjust the shirt length by tying a knot. If your shirt is not a tie knot shirt, which by the way is very popular right now, same black shirt, all I did was to use a black rubber band and I just tied it around. Now it becomes a knot. And this is still gonna make your proportion look better compared with when you are not tucked in. Next, the white button down shirt, or some people call it white button up shirt, and it doesn't matter. Something about the white button downs that's so basic, but they're never gonna go out of style. Did I just hear someone say Audrey Hepburn? Yes, all the style icons love to wear white button down shirt. So make sure you invest in the high quality one. Of course, you can get a very fitted white button down shirt. You can go with a casual white button down shirt like mine. Mine is a loose fitted shirt because it has some volume. I need to tone it down that volume. That's why I always pair it with something skinny pants or skinny jeans. The rule of volume is very important. You should only wear one piece of voluminous clothing at a time. I do have another video on this topic, so make sure you check this out. It will improve your style immediately. This is a navy sailor pants I got from Express. White plus navy is a very classic combination. And when the weather gets a little hotter, you can also wear it with shorts. This is a dress shorts also from Express. I love the cute belted shorts. The most easy way to style your white button down black pencil skirt because this is such a simple color combination. I am wearing a diamond necklace with a Michael Kors watch. Next a floral dress. Spring is not a spring without flowers. Achoo! Yeah, just get your Claritin ready, but don't skip the flowers. I love flowers. Every spring, I must wear floral dresses. This one is my favorite. I have had it for years. It's from Diane von Furstenberg. Actually, I have so many floral prints, silk dresses from DVF. I just love them, including the one I am wearing right now. This is my favorite because it's long sleeve. So starting from May, I can wear this all the way even to the summer. With this lens, it's very easy to tap it over with my trench coat. And this is a very clean and chic outfit that can take you go anywhere shift dress. So that means it doesn't have a very defined waistline. It's not a body count dress, not loose fitted either. So if you want something fitted but you don't want a body count, you can consider a shift dress like this. This is a fitted shift dress. And this is my favorite A-line dress. It's off the shoulder dress from Alice and Olivia. It's also made of silk combination. Silk and cotton, these natural fabrics are perfect for the spring. Next, the mules. These are my favorite shoes for this time of year. They are a perfect combination of so many different things. They are so stylish. Easily dress them up or dress them down. My favorite type is the pointed toe. I love the flats because they are pointed toe. Even if they are flats, they can still elongate your legs. Also, the pointed toe is gonna give them a more dressy vibe. That's what makes them look so polished. These can go with basically anything. You can wear them with jeans, of course. You can also wear them with dress pants. And of course, you can wear them skirts as well. You just cannot go wrong with a pair of meals. I have meals in different colors. My favorite is the nude meals because they are leg elongating the best leg elongating option is always the nude shoes no matter what kind of new shoes including nude meals and i also have them in black next something pastel this time of the year i feel something is missing if i don't have anything in pastel a lot of times when we think about classic color combinations for the spring we're talking about white or beige or navy because those are neutral colors but pastels, they're never gonna go out of style because this is nature. This is the season. We're never gonna get tired of pastel this season or next year or never. So get your favorite shade of pastel. Enjoy a little pink or a little mint green or a little baby blue. What is your shade of pastel? I have found my favorite, I found it easy to wear, is the baby blue and the pink blush. 
This is my favorite Nicole Miller dress. I've had it for years. My favorite part is the color and of course because they also got the ruching design. This is one of the most slimming designs. Your spring is going to need a blazer. Depending on what colors you have in your closet, you can choose different colors of the blazer. I have found the most universally flattering and also versatile These are the white blazers. These are the spring staples and they're never going to go out of style. I have white blazers in different lengths. This is Ann Taylor sweater blazer, very fitted. I love it and I like to pair it with white denim and this is a monochrome outfit and this is going to again elongate you and make you look taller and what I found the most easy to wear is a shorter blazer and this one is from my store the brand is Amanda and Chelsea this kind of blazer is shorter but they are the easiest to style Blazers a lot of times they might seem easy to wear but you don't wear them right they can make your proportion look off. I do have a whole other video on this topic how to look chic in your blazer and how to choose the right blazer for your closet. Make sure you check out this video.